Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's the second day of August and things are about to get hot as things cool off in terms of the season. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I'm all about the seasons. Well, here we are and the kids are going back to school and things are starting to percolate. And this is this time of year I, I just love because I like the summer. But for business, it can be slow. But anywho, let me tell you what's going on. I woke up this morning, a lot of uh, questions about certain things, and people were asking about this and that. So just to make it super, super clear for you, this is what's going down. Now, I put out some offers over the weekend, and you know, and that was kind of it because things have changed for the better. Now. What I'm going to do is go work really, really hard to give you information for the highly motivated and self-directed to be successful. Now, with that, that's the Hustlers MBA. It's 200 bucks or you can make monthly payments. And the beginning Hustler courses are now $500 for all of the courses on the sites. Plus, I've raised prices. Yes, I've raised prices because, see, this is the thing. I'll give you this story years and years ago, right? When I was, I found Earl Nightingale. I wasn't, a, I wasn't in a really good position in life. I wasn't, this was like a long time ago, like 1997 ish or 98. And I was working a shitty job. I think it was making like $138 a week. That's how bad it was. Cause you know, it was, it was just terrible. And, I saw the thing. I, I was either reading something or I saw something. And Nightingale Conant had this deal where they would send you the cassette tapes because it was cassette tapes at the time. And you got to listen to them for 30 days. And then in the 30 days, you paid whatever they charged. And for Earl Nightingale's, it was 100 bucks plus shipping. It was like $115. So I went ahead and I ordered for the cassette tapes and I got them and they started to help me because it took me a while to put it all together, but they started to help me and I got paid and it was time to pay for my tapes, right? There was $115 and I had made almost 200 that week. And I was like, damn, I don't want to send the tapes back. So I paid, right? And one of the things that a lot of people have a problem with is where they are being the epicenter of their thinking. Because if I had thought, shit, they want 115, I only got 198, I'm going to send this shit back. If I had thought like that, I wouldn't be talking to you today. I wouldn't have written over 30 books. I wouldn't have the YouTube channel. The, just so many good things that have happened years down the road would have not happened unless I had made that decision at that point when it needed to be made. Because I looked at the future and I started to embrace the abundance mindset. Because, you know, there's a lot of you who leave these. I mean, I don't know. I would be ashamed to leave such a comment like I have no money, I'm broke. Why are you bragging about that? Why are you even put that out there? I mean, I would not put that out there, but some people, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why you put that out there, but it's just like, damn, that's kind of crazy because you're not only accepting mediocrity, you're embracing it. You're embracing it. And one of the things I've learned, because this is, you know, for the last six months, and a lot of you have got to actually talk to you, and, you know, thanks for the phone calls, thanks for talking to me, it was very illuminating, and there's just two groups of people, there are people who really care about their success, and there are people who don't, that's what it is, so my big focus, and my energy and direction is going to be on the people who care about their success, and that's what's with the big changes and all of those things. And now this is where we're going to be because people are like, what are you doing? I am doing Hustlers MBA. I am doing Digital Citizen Group because, you know, I'll, I'll talk about that. I like writing. 
and you know folks who want to write and create and build something i want to have that kind of energy with those people i mean digital citizen which like i said i don't expect it to be a big group because you gotta work and whenever you tell people you gotta work folks like oh, i'm not interested in that man but that's gonna be like a pet project whether i make a lot of money or not i don't really care it's it's gonna be about the fun and the engagement with the people and then the next thing is real estate for business which is a part the yeah the business of real estate which is a partnership and youtube for business which is also another passion so that's going to be the four things that are going on now i've had many people email me it's like i heard that you you need to have one thing and i was like okay well i don't know who told you that and i don't know their experience and i have a policy unless i take the course or i know exactly what you're talking about i'm not going to comment on it because see you have people who give you kind of like what we see on facebook with people posting a video we don't see what happened we don't have the whole story we just have the most salacious part and then people act like a pack of wild dogs and just go off I don't know the whole story of this, but I'm going to tell you what has worked for me. And this goes back from me having a physical business and me mitigating risk, what I like to call income risk. You know, we had the thing with eBay, where, which was at one point 68, 70 percent of our monthly income at one point, And it just disappeared. That was a scary moment. And ever since then, there is just no way that you will catch me with only one source of income. It's just not happening. So for someone else that may work, that's great, that's wonderful. But at no point will I ever have a serious uh, situation where all four, five, six, whatever, will all go down at the same time. I'm, that's just reality. So that's why I do what I do. I don't know about anyone else, but that's why I do what I do. That's why I have the two sites. That's why I have the YouTube channels and the other projects that are coming. But now... What's going to happen here is there's going to be a group of people who are going to participate in these educational procedures. That's what it is. Because the thing is, I keep saying this and people don't, you know, they're, they're looking at all of the, the ads that come across Facebook about, hey, and they all say the same thing. You can make a lot of money really quickly with minimum effort. That's the promise. And that's what hooks people in. So even if you on the conscious mind believes like, you know, that doesn't really sound correct. It's just everywhere. And it becomes pedestrian. It becomes kind of almost like an expectation. Now I don't have anything like that. What I do have is products, services, and education that if you do the work, you'll see results and you'll see results month after month after month after month. That's really on you. Going back to what I said, there are two groups of people. There's a group of people who care about their success. And there's a group of people who really don't care that much about their success. And we're going to do some things. Because there's things I don't talk about. And there's things I do in my business I don't put out. Because I know that once I put it out, that people will... You know, take ownership and like, well, yeah, I thought of that. So if I don't put it out, nobody knows. But we're going to talk about that, especially with YouTube for business and the sales you know, training, because there's there's a group of people because when I do these talks or webinars, I get people in there and I've had I've heard a lot of people say, I don't want to write a book. I don't want to do a YouTube channel. I just want to grind and I just want to sell. So that's going to be Hustlers MBA because you can make a lot of money flipping stuff, buying and flipping stuff, selling, you can. However, this is the rub. As long as you remain in that hustle mode, you have just bought yourself what I consider a very fun job. You can you're you're out there going to whatever sourcing venues. The thing is, unless you do that process, your your you know, your income just stops. So unless you know, and that's one of the reasons that I built a business versus just being a regular storage auction guy, built a business, I had a partner, built a store, hired employees, because you can only do so much as yourself. But for folks who are into that, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, we'll talk about that. Plus, I'm going to bring you better sales training because this is the thing. 
I was in one of my groups and we were talking about Facebook because, you know, people kept tagging me because I will say this about Facebook. Now, there's some dis the full disclosure. Having this YouTube channel has been extremely powerful for me. And I've been able to go sometimes a year or two. I didn't even have a website and I was making money. It was a direct video to product to income model. There was no funnels and then there no blogs and all this other stuff. And every time that I got away from that, I started to lose traction. I was like, okay, you know what you got to do. So, when, you know, going back to the Facebook thing, I have deleted the Facebook groups, uh, the ones that didn't get deleted because Facebook just like deleted one and the other one. I said, fuck it, I'm, I'm out of here. I have, you know, if you're looking for my Facebook fan pages, I don't have any. I got rid of those. And if you want to friend me, I have a Facebook page where you can friend me and I'll talk to you and you'll get the live Facebook stuff. And that's it. So I got rid of that. And part of this is a business lesson because if you have a good offer, if you have a good product, you have good service, you don't need all that stuff online. I mean, you could go check me out. My Twitter sucks. Uh, Instagram, I'm doing more stuff there because I enjoy Instagram. But hands down, you know, going back to the Facebook thing, because people were talking about it. Um, I have not gotten that much business from Facebook. Since, you know, I've had pages, I've had groups, I've gotten business. And when I was using Gumroad pretty much exclusively, I was able to track it because when I would put a link on Facebook, it would show me where the traffic was coming from. But the two biggest sources of income for me, number one, YouTube, number two, my email list. Number one and two, nothing else, nothing else. And I have seen people who have the social media presence and I've seen them. They'll they'll do this and, you know, just watch. I'm not saying names, but they'll work hard. They'll put all that content out. They're like, I'm your best friend. And then I'll see they'll, they'll just have to take time off. They was like, hey, I'm taking a break because they burnt the fuck out. Um, posting every day, being everywhere all the time. And I look at these people and see, I look at the whole picture. I don't look at just like the surface stuff. When someone posts a video, I look at the background. I look at where they're living. I look at how they're positioning themselves. I look at I look at all of that stuff because at the end of the day, we all want to live how we want to live. Now, if that's how they want to live, that's cool. But there's an incongruency in what they're saying and how they're living, in my opinion. But I've seen that, the burnout. So what we're doing is going back to 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13 ish style of there's going to be more content on YouTube. There's going to be more content in the courses and there's going to be more love for the people who care about their success, because there's a group of you out there who care deeply about your success. You want to be successful. You're willing to put in the work and you know that there are no magic jelly beans. And for the last few months, I've been really trying to run off all of the foolish people because I know you've been like the videos have been a little weird. The emails have been a little weird. Yeah, this has all been part of a plan. And it's August. And I, this is kind of like the launch of the the relaunch of the old Glendon Cameron. You can call that. So this is what's going down. Then. You know, just some explanation of why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, everything has gone up. And if you. Where do I have it? That's going to change a little bit. But essentially, most people are going to be here. There's going to be three levels of subscriptions. Uh, the first one, Hustlers MBA. Now, what do you get? You get the Hustlers Life Skills and you get the Hustler MBA, which is sales calls. I'm going to teach you how to sell. Now, understand, once again, this is for people who care about their success because there's some folks who just like are under this impression that not learning how to sell and just hoping and wishing. And we're going to talk about Facebook ads in a minute. Is the you know, they don't want to do it. Now, this is something that I've seen. The people who have become really good with Facebook ads also are very good at selling. It's really interesting how there's this correlation because there's a guy and it took him two years and he didn't know anything about Facebook ads and he worked his ass off. He put stuff out there. Uh, he was doing these things 
and he started to learn how to sell. And all of a sudden, his income went up, his copywriting improved. It, it was just real interesting how all that happened at the same time. But um, there are many people who come here like, hey, what about Facebook ads? Now, Facebook ads are how can I reach a lot of people and make a lot of money and not work that hard? I can't help you. I have never in my life done a Facebook ad. I, I just haven't had the need. Also, I know people who do it. Um, I have people who share real costs with me in real experiences. And I know there are people who you know of, if I were to mention their name, who've done Facebook campaigns and lost their asses. Can't say that in public because, you know, people lose confidence in them, but they've lost their asses. I've seen it lost their asses, made no money, had to live off the money they made the year previous, but you, that doesn't fit the narrative. So what we're going to do is teach you how to sell, which means you got to talk to people. You got to talk to people, all this stuff like, you know, I don't want to show my face. I, I can't help you. If you're that damn scared, if you feel that you are so fucked up in life that you cannot present yourself to the public, I, I can't help you. I can't. Because essentially fear avoidance will keep you living half a life. So what we're going to do is go through the updated version of 30 days to 2500. And I'm not going to like redo the course and then no, no, I'm going to listen. You know, we're going to go through the old course and then I'm going to give you updates as a add on versus just redoing everything. Because most of the course is good. There's just a few enhancements. Like there was one section of where, you know, I was talking about eBay, Amazon. I completely do not recommend that. And the reason I don't recommend that is because people become lazy and they become myopic. It's like they can do nothing else and they will start to lose their minds. And it's like a sacred cow. And once again, eBay and the Facebook ads are very similar. I sit in groups. Well, I used to because I removed myself from many groups where I watch people every day complain about eBay, complain about Facebook, complain about all of these things when they have the choice to not play the game. But because they are addicted to what had went down, they play the game. You have a choice. Like I said, you know, I put in there like, hey, I deleted my Facebook pages. I deleted the groups. I'm doing something different. See, this, this is optional. You don't have to play that game if you're willing to put in the work and create your own thing, which is hard. I'm not even going to run away from that and go like, oh, it's not. It's hard. It's hard. But it's durable. It's very, very durable. Okay, now to the three levels. Hustlers Kung Fu, NBA, Hustlers NBA, it's 100 bucks a month for 12 months. Then the next level is where you get Hustlers Kung Fu, Hustlers Dojo, that's two hundred dollars a month where you'll get both of those. And then the third level is Hustlers Kung Fu. NBA. Hustlers Dojo. All the stuff there and four hustle calls per month. Now, what the hustle calls are, I'm going to break down certain things for you that I'm not going to put on YouTube because once again, I am in groups and I know people that you've seen, you've seen their ads, and I'm not going to mention names, but I'm just going to give you a breakdown on what not to do, how this strategy is really working, how it's not really working, and give you insights and guidance and education on how to be successful today online without the bullshit. So every week, there'll be this hustle call. Now that's, you, you know, it's going to be live. You can ask questions. Um, I'm in the process of trying to bring guests on or people. And this is something else. And this is really, really fucking hard. I wanted to do a podcast for the longest. And it is so hard finding people that fit my criteria. Because uh, when I was doing the show, the Hustler Kung Fu show, and I had Aaron Marino on, Aaron is a real deal business person. He's real. He's, he's a super nice guy. That shit's hard to find Aaron, someone who can come in, give you real information from their real experience. Because, see, the other part is there's a lot of people like Aaron, but they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about their highs, their lows and stuff like that. They don't want to talk about it. 
and they don't want to be out there and they don't want to tell you how much money they're making. So that's what I mean. It gets really, really hard, which is why I went with Hustler Kung Fu Drops. I can do the podcast. If I give them guests, I can actually slice it there, but I'm going to carry the show on my own. But the the whole deal is it's about educating people to do another level of stuff to be more successful and you know on my channel you've got the videos where you know it wasn't always lovely you know where things went sideways i actually talk about that stuff and a lot of people don't because they think that folks will lose faith in you when i think the opposite is true that people will trust you more because it's going to be more of a mirror of their experiences but that's what's going on. That's how things are going. And for those of you who are already subscribed, we're going to make the adjustments and put you where you need to be. And for those of you who want to subscribe, just go ahead. The links are under the video and it's an onboarding process. Now, what does that mean? It means if you buy or sign up at three o'clock in the morning, you will not have instant access to your stuff. You will have access to your stuff the next business day. And I do have my assistant working some weekends uh, looking to hire someone else for another project that I want to do. And I've just decided that I'm not going to put it out until I get the right person because there's a lot going on. So it doesn't really make any sense. I don't have to put it out. I want to put it out, but I don't have to put it out. But that's the thing. You go under, you click, you enter in your subscription information. You'll be billed every month. And then the next day, You'll get a nice email with your logins and all this other stuff, and you'll be welcome aboard because once again, I'm not doing this like everyone else is doing this because I've been doing online courses for, wow, since 2010. And I know for people to be successful, there needs to be more guidance. There needs to be more help. There needs to be, you know, just more stuff. And with the bandwidth, because, like I said, I learned my lesson. I can't help a bunch of people paying no money or to just a minimum amount of money. And we're going to talk about this, too. Is. There's just not enough bandwidth. There's just not enough time and attention because the people who need it to be free versus the people who want it to be free, there, there's a vast difference. There are people who are like, hey, I'm trying to be efficient. I'm trying to get as much as possible. And then there's a group who need it to be free because they don't have any money. And to you, if that's your situation, you have no money, my suggestion to you is to get two jobs, two full-time jobs. And you know, yeah, I know it sounds extreme. One job to pay your bills, another job so you can stack cash, so you can have a war chest, so you can have some attitude money. Because here's the rub, and I'm going to tell you this as someone who spends $2,000 a month for my just maintaining my online stuff. That's for paying for my websites, that's paying for my email hosting, hosting. Yeah, it's like two grand a month. You're not going to make big money online without spending a significant amount to maintain your stuff. Like one of the reasons I use a certain website is uh, server speed. I don't care how much stuff I put on that website, the way it's optimized, it's going to load fast. Everything's going to load fast. That is huge if you're selling stuff online. But once again, you know, like people's like, hey, go ahead, put together this uh, WordPress blog and put all these plugins, right? Well, see, this is what's going to happen. You load up this WordPress blog with all these plugins, that sucker's going to get slower and slower and slower and slower. And it's going to cost you money. But people who are who, who are not doing that on a certain level, they're not telling you that. If you notice that all the big guys, they all all their sites load very fast. And you know why? Because they're on dedicated servers. Which is 150 to 350 bucks a month. Just for that. So let's let's just go ahead and say, take someone like Pat Flynn. And I, I'm assuming because I don't know, but with Pat Flynn's readership, probably 500 bucks a month just on the dedicated server email list. I know he's got like a six figure email list. That's a thousand bucks between the email list and the server. Just those two things, probably maybe more. I'm just assuming I don't know, but that's the kind of stuff that, so when you're on this thing of, I'm trying to make it a lot of money and I have no money. 
it's going to fuck with you because you're going to need money to experiment. You're going to need money to buy stuff. Things are going to happen. Opportunities are going to come your way. So this is just going in like I, I'm just on fumes. You're going to stay on fumes unless you do something radical to increase your income. So that's all I have. So for anybody that's confused, go to customer service at hustlers, Kung Fu at gmail.com. Ask your question. We'll be answering questions, setting people up and doing stuff like that. So hopefully everyone is clear on what's going down. Thanks for joining me. And I will check you guys out later. The link to subscribe to everything is below.